The KZN Future 50 with Pavlo Fatidis. Inspiring KZN's business future. It's time for KZN Future 50, and for that, we have Pavlo Fatidis from Auric. Morning, Pavlo. Good morning, team. So, which business are we featuring today, and why did we pick him? Well, we're going to feature Barry Korb's business. He is the artisan bakery. It's an industrial bakery that excels in making sourdough bread. The reason we picked them is because Barry Cole, like many of us, left school with no direction. In fact, he hated school, but he loved cooking. He then became a chef. And then he learned that he loved science more than art. And because cooking is an art, but baking is a science, he found his path in baking. And these circumstances took him across the US, Europe, the UK. He lived and worked in France for many years under the strict apprenticeship of a master artisan baker. And that path with his passion and the future we're going to lead him into puts him in a position where I believe, and I've had the privilege of traveling a lot, that he is one of the world's greatest sourdough bread makers. Right here in KZN. Pablo, so tell us, why is the artisan bakery special enough to be on the KZN Future 50? Well, Carmen, you know, today he's got a a business partner, Rick uh, Hooper. What's really important about this is Barry has deep technical expertise in the product that he creates. It's his job to ensure quality. And bringing on a business partner was a very smart move because his business partner, who's an accountant, is then responsible for the second part of what makes any business work. And that's building out the commercial capabilities of the business to market the product, to sell the product, to deliver the product, to administer the numbers that keep the business afloat. There are another two other ingredients that he has, which I think are important for every business owner out there. And that is time and love. In fact, his product is very similar to his philosophy. It takes 60 days to make a sourdough bread loaf. And he only uses three ingredients. It's wheat, water and salt. And combining that with time and love puts him in a position where he creates, I think, honestly, a world-class product right under our noses. So Pablo, where will Artisan Bakery be in, say, five years' time? Darren, he's in such a fortunate position. He's got a premium product that has grown in its sales year on year for the last three years at around 40%. And it talks to the quantity of the product that he has produced. And now he and Rick want to raise funding to scale growth. And what scale growth really truly means, you want to take the 40% to 120%. You're in, you're out for the next two, three, four, five years. They know they've got a proven product. They know that it works. They know it's being rebought again and again and again. And here's the thing though, before you actually raise funding to pour it into scaling your sales, you need to create a sales system. And a sales system says you need to decide who your customers are and pick customers that are similar to each other so you can learn to understand the language they need in marketing, the language they want to hear in sales so that you can simply get the product in front of them and in doing so, you know that the product will carry the retention of those customers down the line. So that's the preceding steps that they need to have in place in order to attract a funder and this business is ripe and ready for funding in order to get there. So speaking of customers, Pavlo, what can KZN do to support the artisan bakery? You know, Carmen, there's so many people who have succeeded in business, succeeded in investing, uh, living and residing in KZN. A large number of people who exited Kauteng and semigrated down to KZN did so very profitably, did so well after exiting their businesses and their corporate careers. And what Barry and Rick need and want is an investor, but someone who appreciates food, appreciates artisan bread, and is looking to get a far better return then they can enjoy over the next five years on the JSC or a back deposit or even on a Ferrari. You will get a far better deal done with this team given where they are and what they have than anything else. And if that's you, pick up the phone and have a conversation with them. This has been a KZN Future 50 with Pablo Fatidis from Auric. Thanks for joining us again, Pablo. Thank you, team. See you next time. This is amazing. So listen, if you want to get involved with the KZN Future 50, just head on over to our website, ecr.co.za, and you'll find also all the information on all of the companies that have been featured.